Good morning guys and welcome to the weekend. My name is Ross and you are joining me today for your final installment for this week for the freemium MYP service. Today guys we're going to be talking about self-actualization so let's get going. The idea behind self-actualization guys can be very different depending on who you are, what culture you've been brought up in and just generally where your position in society is. Lots of people think that you can never fully self-actualize because if you do that then you've come to your peak and you'll have fully accomplished everything in your life. Other, people's, other people believe that it's a journey and it's part of the process and uh, I think I have to uh, lay with those guys and say look self-actualization is more about the journey than the destination. So what is self-actualization guys? Well self-actualization pretty much sums up what MYP is about because it's about maximizing your potential so it's about finding what one's true potential really is and then trying to fulfill that and the journey that fulfilling that potential takes you on so trying to really vital, get the like, vitalize life you know get the most out of life get the most out of living and try and get as close to that point where you've truly peaked in life and once you've peaked in life then start to share that with the people around you and the community that you live in. Now I talk about self-actualization and then we usually associate that with success with money but that's not necessarily what it means lots of people can self-actualize or be on that journey well within their own rights and well within their own environment but we usually come across it with celebrities and that usually means people who have maybe been successful up into a, a period or, or a point in their life and actually what they start to do is they feel a, a need and a desire to then give back to people and that's the true meaning of self-actualization you get to a point where you've you've done so much for yourself that you can let everything sort of lay to the side and then you can spend your time giving back to people and enhancing and empowering people so that's truly what your goal is to self-actualize guys is to get to that place where you're comfortable with everything that you've done in yourself and then try to think about the bigger picture and what you can do to help and improve other people's lives around you so I'm going to give you four bits of advice guys to really sort of put you on your way to self-actualization okay so let's get straight into it guys and I hope you're good to go number one just stop measuring and comparing yourself to other people, okay? It's called self-actualization. The sort of clues in the word, in the title, it's self-actualization. So it's about you, not about comparing yourself to anybody else. Because what will happen in life, guys, is if you, you go down that road and take that journey and just be constantly comparing yourself to other people, you will, it'll never stop. As soon as you achieve something, you'll find somebody else who's doing something better or wanting something that someone else has got. So stop comparing yourself to other people and just be a little bit easier on yourself. Number two, once you've stopped comparing yourself to other people, you need to start thinking about uh, learning to accept yourself. So accept all your strengths, all your weaknesses, and try not to change them for the sake of somebody else. Once you've truly accepted yourself, you'll be more comfortable in your own skin and you'll be more comfortable in your abilities, okay? And that then will only uh, allow yourself to be more productive and to have a greater impact on more people. Number three, guys, you have to remember you're in control, okay? We sort of live in a society where we're uh, try to be controlled and on most occasions we are controlled by external factors uh, and other people around us. Take a step back guys and just realize that you are truly in control. Every decision you make, you get to make that decision, okay? We're kind of guided by society, by news, by the media and things like that. But you guys can really take it upon yourself just to take a little step back, look in on your life and think, Do you know what, I'm going to take back some control here, take back some control there. And that was one of the big things that I wanted to have with MYP was, was to give you guys the control back, okay? You know, you can be back in control of your lives and you can do the things what's required to make your life successful and on your own terms. And the last bit of advice, guys, don't stop growing, okay? Every day you should be learning something new. As long as you're stimulating the brain and stimulating your body, you're constantly gonna grow and evolve. And that's what self-actualization is about, it's that journey. You're constantly trying to improve yourself, whether it's learning new skills, whether it's performance, whether it's interaction, whether it's improving somebody else's life. I want you to be growing and doing it every day, okay? So every day is a school day, okay? I want you to be taking that all on and then sharing it with as many people as possible. And that's what it's truly about, guys to self-actualize. I'm not standing here telling you that I've self-actualized. I'm going to be on this journey for the rest of my life. But like I said at the beginning, I'm here to try and improve other people's lives. You know, MYP will be successful when our users and our people that we interact with are successful. And like I said, I wanted to have the greatest positive impact on the most amount of people. So let's get straight into our thought for the day. As part of this thing we call life, guys, 
We have to share our experiences. That's what life's about. It's about having those experiences and sharing them with other people. So as an individual, guys, you have a responsibility, a responsibility to every single person you come in contact with to be authentic and to share your experiences, okay? So you have to think about this. What a man can be, he must be. And that is your responsibility, okay? And that's your responsibility to share that with the people you come in contact with. Now for your challenge today, okay? This is something I want you to think about over the weekend, okay? I want you to try and think about living your life from a place of truth a place of honesty and a place of authenticity. So when you're constantly comparing yourself to other people or you're wearing stuff that other people like or you're listening to music that you think other people think you should do, I want you just to take a little moment to think, how can I be honest to myself? And this can be everything in life, guys. It can be the really serious stuff or the really sort of um, jovial stuff and the fun stuff that's not too serious. But I want you to come from a place of honesty. So it might start with the small things, but watch that transcend into the big things that have a bigger impact on your life but I really want you to come from a place where you're truthful you're authentic okay and you're honest to yourself all right so stop measuring yourself against other people and be honest with yourself and your motivating thought for this weekend guys self-actualization requires self-awareness and self-awareness requires an understanding that there is no finish line. I want you to stop adopting society and I want you to live true to your own values okay so I want you to be truly you the empowerment that will come with this, guys, will be mind-blowing and you will truly start to get the most out of your experiences. And then once you do that, you can start to share those experiences with everyone you come in contact. And that's what life's really about, having those experiences and sharing them with everybody. Guys, I hope you've had a fantastic week and you've really enjoyed all the information we've been sharing with you. Enjoy the weekend. We'll be good to go Monday morning, continuing on with this free NYP service, okay? If you like these videos, guys, share the videos, share the links, share all the good stuff. We want to try and have a thousand people logged in every day and listening and taking on the NYP message, okay? Like we said, we want to have the greatest positive impact on the most amount of people. We want a thousand people, a thousand people by January, guys, signed up and onto our service, okay? all the good stuff and it's free. Let's start sharing. Have a great day and NYP.